Hi everyone, Kyle here, product manager at PreSonus, and in today's video, we're going to discuss how to use and operate the mixer found in our Revelator series of products on PC. My good friend Joe Gilder recently made a video on how to do this on Mac, so if that's you, you can check out his video in the description below, but if you're on PC, this one's for you. So let's go ahead and open up Universal Control, and I'll show you guys how to get started. So first things first, you'll want to download Universal Control from the PreSonus website. And once you, that is downloaded and installed, you'll see the control panel and the Revelator product that you have connected to your PC. In my case, I have the Revelator IO24 connected. Uh, you'll double tap the product card here and it will launch the Revelator Mixer interface. And you can see that we have all of our inputs to the left and our mixes out, our mix outputs to the right. So let's say that you're a solo musician and you would like to play some guitar, maybe have a vocal mic and combine that with some backtracks from a DAW, maybe play some music uh, while your stream starts from Spotify or iTunes, maybe even bring in a remote guest to your stream. Uh, and you would like to send all that out into a stream and maybe have a separate mix for yourself. So you can have your vocal really loud in your headphones, but maybe not so loud to the stream. So let's see how we'll use all of these inputs and our mixes to accomplish that. So on the IO24, as mentioned, we have two hardware inputs. So let's say channel one is my microphone. Let me call this one mic and channel two is my guitar. Now moving on, we have three virtual inputs and these are really interesting and allow you to do a bunch of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and let's assign something to virtual A and let's say that's going to be my backing tracks from Studio One. Um, let's go ahead and open Studio One and I have a audio file pulled up here on the show page. So I'll go to the show setup and go to audio IO setup and I want to make sure that I choose the output panel because I need to send audio out of Studio One into the Revelator mixer so that we can send it to our stream. So I wanna use virtual A channel on the mixer in the Revelator mixer. So I need to make sure that I send audio out of virtual output A left and right. So it'll go into virtual A channel on our mixer. So I've chosen virtual output A left and right on Studio One for our destination for this audio. So I'll click okay. And now I'll go back to the Revelator mixer to the virtual A, and when I play audio, you'll see that now it's coming in the virtual A channel. So we can go ahead and name that Studio One. And now let's say I'd like to set up some audio to play from Spotify, maybe just to have some background music playing while my stream starts. So I'll make sure that um, Spotify is playing through the correct channel that I would like it to come down in the Revelator mixer. So we want to let's use the playback channel. So I want to make sure my PC is set to have its audio come out of the playback left and right channel of the Revelator mixer. So Spotify will go straight down that channel. So let's play some music on Spotify and you can see now it's coming down the playback channel in our mixer. So let's go ahead and name that Spotify. And now let's say I might have a guest uh, or my chat or somebody I would like to talk to. I'd also like to be able to come down my stream so we can use our virtual B channel for that. So we can open up, let's say Skype and my speaker output. I want to make sure is virtual output B, which will correlate to virtual B channel on our Revelator mixer. So we can go ahead and test this audio and yep, there's Skype. So. Now we have all of our inputs dialed in and ready to go. Now let's talk about our mixes. So here are our mixes. Uh, we have main, which is what you will hear. This is what's going to come into your headphones. It's what's going to come down your speakers if you're using the IO24. So this is your mix. It can be different from the stream mix A and B mix, which we can send out to the stream. So you can go ahead and set your levels here and choose it to be exactly how you want to be. Now, when you want to monitor what your stream's going to hear, you can just click this headphone button and now you're hearing what your stream mix A mix is sounding like. And now we can adjust this to be exactly what we need it to be for our stream. And now once we've done that, how do we 
how do we get that to the stream? So now we want to make sure in our whatever streaming software you're using, let's let me use Skype again, just to show you guys. So I can go to my settings and I want to make sure that my input is stream mix A left and right. And that's going to ensure that the input of this software is grabbing the mix A from our, st our stream mix A from our device. If we pick stream mix B, it'll source this. So let's say maybe we're using stream mix A on OBS and we're using stream mix B to send audio to our Discord chat and uh, you know letting them hear something a little bit different. All right, just to recap, choosing the correct output in other applications will send that output's audio into the Revelator mixer. So choosing playback output out of Skype will bring Skype into the playback channel. Sending the output of Discord to virtual output A will send that audio into the virtual A channel of the mixer. And same with the virtual output B, that will send it to the virtual B channel in the Revelator mixer and will allow you to mix that to send back out to your stream. Now, choosing the correct input in your streaming destination softwares will choose the correct mix out of the Revelator mixer. So whether that's broadcasting software like OBS or Streamlabs, choosing Streamix A as its input in OBS will choose the right mix out of the Revelator mixer. So outputs out of other programs into the Revelator mixer, and then in your destination programs, Choosing the correct input will source the correct mix, full mix for your stream or for your recording. And just a side note, if you would like to use the Revelator as a traditional audio interface, all you have to do is select mic one and two, and that will bypass the mixer. If you want to use it as a mixer and combine all your inputs for a stream, choose stream mix A or stream mix B. Hopefully that makes things clear. If there's anything else that you would guys like to see from us or hear from us, please leave it in the comments below. And until next time, keep making awesome content. Thanks.